Hey everyone, I uh, just got a really quick uh, video for you today. Just a really quick tip on creating your own custom colors in an Ionic application. And so I've got the documentation up for that on the screen right now. And a lot of you are probably familiar with the general primary, secondary, tertiary theme colors that come uh, with Ionic by default. And if we just open up an Ionic application here, uh, it depends on you know, whether you're using Angular or Stencil, but you have uh, somewhere in your application, uh, you have a spot where you can define some theme variables and you can overwrite the default Ionic theme variables. Uh, in an Angular application, this would be in the, uh, so the variables.scss file where you could um, just overwrite these values, make them whatever colors you want. And you can also use the Ionic's uh, color generator here and so you can just modify all these colors and that's going to create a theme view which you can just copy and paste into your application. And so most of the time, this is probably all you'll need. There's a, you know, a lot of different colors here that are already defined and you can just overwrite these to be what you need. But if you want to, you can also define your own custom colors. So what that means is that uh, rather than having say primary or secondary or whatever else we have here, we might want to define a custom color like featured or uh, maybe something specific to our application uh, that we can use and it's going to uh, apply a specific color. It says information on how to do that here. The thing is with the theme variables that are being used, they don't just have a single color. Uh, they have these base colors, contrast colors and so on. So uh, for example, if you're using something like a bright yellow, uh, you need a color to contrast with that if there's going to be some title text uh, on top of that. Uh, you'll want that to be a color that's going to be visible. Uh, so you probably want something dark in that case because uh, white text on a bright yellow background, for example, is gonna be really hard to read. And so I saw a, a tweet from Brandy from the Ionic team recently about a new tool that they have added. And it's this new, uh, a new color creator tool they have here. And uh, basically what this is going to do is create all those colors for you that you need to define and it's going to also create this class automatically for you that you need to set up uh, to get your um, new color name working. So all you need to do here is just give it a name in this little tool. We'll just create one called Featured. So call that uh, Featured, click on this to bring up the color picker. And if we just have a little play around here, you'll notice that say if I go to that bright yellow, for example, uh, we're getting a, a Featured contrast color here of uh, black. Uh, because that's going to sharpen that uh, yellow background. Uh, but if we go for, say, a darker color, maybe let's go for like a dark blue, uh, you can see that now that contrast color has changed to white. Uh, so that's going to show up better on that background. So basically we just pick whatever color we want in this color picker for our featured color. Let's go with a purpley color. And then I automatically have all the code I need to use that here. So what I'm going to do is just copy all of that. We're going to come over to our, um, our app.css file for a stencil application. Again, if you're using Angular, that's going to be in under the, I think it's the theme folder, then variables.scss. Uh, but basically, we just want to dump these in here, uh, which is going to define that color for us. I'm going to save that. And now we're going to try and make uh, use of this new featured color we have. So. I already have a uh, stencil JS Ionic application running on screen now, just with the default uh, layout. Uh, so we have a profile page button which has the primary color by default. So let's just open that up. And we're going to change that to be, uh, have a color of featured, which is going to use our new color we just created. So I'll save that. Uh, jump back into the browser and you can see now that purple is applied. We can do the same thing with the uh, toolbar here. Change that from primary to featured. And now that's going to change to purple as well. So you can create whatever kind of variables you want, uh, either if these aren't enough to cover all the cases that you want, which in most cases they probably are because there's quite a few colors here. The color palette of your application likely won't be that large, but uh, you might also want to define these custom colors with your own custom names for just organizational reasons as well. So I hope this quick tip was uh, useful. If you did like this video, please do feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.